For a long time now, Colosseum has needed a facelift. Maybe something new, maybe uh, uh, changes here and there, maybe even the way that it looks. But unfortunately, ever since the game has came out, the Colosseum has remained pretty much the same, intact. The only thing that has changed as far as Colosseum is the heroes that are available. When you introduce a new hero, it can change the dynamic of certain teams, of certain matchups, etc. And that's really the only difference that Colosseum has had ever since the game essentially has come out. Um, so, I think it's time for Colosseum to get a bit of an update. And if not Colosseum, maybe I can introduce or maybe suggest another way of doing it, right? So, that's what we're here to go ahead and talk about and maybe see what you guys think about the quote-unquote changes um or if not making it like a coliseum type of event where it's just you against other people or uh, maybe this can be like a guild versus guild sort of event kind of like guild showdown um because there is a lot of potential here in coliseum and it seems like everything else in the game is getting updated except coliseum and as you guys know I'm a big fan of Colosseum, you know, I, I love to see how teams do against other teams, how Constellation changes matchups from week to week, etc. But after a while, you start noticing that the Constellations are usually the same, they're just rotating, and a lot of the matchups generally stay the same because some heroes are just better than others flat out. But how do you fix that, right? There's a lot of heroes out there that are good heroes, can be good Colosseum heroes, but unfortunately there are just better options therefore since there are always better options They don't ever see the light of day in Colosseum. I'll give you a perfect example uh, a great tank uh, Would be child of light Child of light is a hero that can be really good in Colosseum can actually do really well the main issue is as far as tanks you have Rose Knight you have Berserker, you have Don Guapo, you have a couple of other tanks that are just better than Child of Light. And therefore, if you have those options, well, what's the point of using Child of Light, right? Another, uh, another one is Prima Donna. Prima Donna can be a great hero in, this, you know, in, in certain circumstances, but generally speaking, Lord Weaver is just a better hero. Well, how do you solve this about heroes being pretty good, but they barely get any play, especially if you have better heroes? Here's what I suggest, okay? So, you do this. You make a game mode where you have to make three separate teams. You cannot use any duplicate heroes. So therefore, for example, that first team that you see right there, it's a team that's very common, you know, Don Guapo, Rose Knight, Witch Dog, Grove Guardian, Lore Weaver. Very, very solid team. You can make that as one of your teams. The second one, though, you can no longer use any of those heroes that you use for the first one. So now you, now you gotta be a little bit more creative. Do you see where I'm going with this? Now you can start using heroes that you normally probably wouldn't use, but now you gotta try to find a team that actually works. And then, not only do you have to make a second team, you gotta make a third team. Exactly. Now, that's where it gets interesting. Now, here's, here's the catch, right? If you are on defense, you have to uh, pick which team is gonna go first, second, and third, right? So, maybe you put your strongest team first, and etc, etc, right? And as the attacker your uh, individual, uh, I guess you can say, uh, advantage as being the attacker is that you're going to have to make three teams yourself, but you get to decide which team faces which. So therefore, let's say that you really struggle against that first team. So instead of using like actual good heroes, you, you make like a throwaway team of just heroes that you're not going to use at all, and you concede that first defeat, in order to make better teams that you think will have a better chance against the second team and third team. Or etc. Maybe the, the one you really struggle with is the middle team. So therefore you throw a bunch of like throwaway heroes in the middle one. And then put the better ones in the first and third one. Do you see where I'm going with this? It makes matchups way more interesting. 
it makes hero selection and, and team making way more interesting because now you have to pick 15 heroes that work together well instead of just the best five that everybody's using this week and just throw it in there, right? Now, of course, of course, the issue, the main issue that I would see here is that the free-to-play players would very much struggle on this because they have already a limited selection as it is. And so trying to make a good team with 15 heroes that are mostly probably free to play. And maybe you'll have like a couple of gray or greens from the, the events, right? Like Master Cook that's out right now. Let me see. Uh, yeah, like maybe you have some of these and maybe you can start using some of the gray ones. Maybe even green if you get that far, etc. Right? But I feel like something like this would be a great addition for Colosseum and it'll... It'll change the dynamic of how people look at heroes because there's just a lot of heroes that are pretty good, but they just can't make it because there's always a hero that's better at what they do. And so if you have three teams, think about it. Now maybe maybe somebody's going to go with uh, Lower Weaver as the healer for the first one. Then you have Prima Donna as the healer for the second one. And now you're thinking, man, I need a third healer. Who can that third healer be for me? And now we can start thinking about Jonas. Maybe we can tar start thinking about Dream Witch. Hell, maybe maybe even Sea Squire. H heroes that are never usually used in Colosseum. You might have to start looking at. So this is something that I think would be great if used as an updated version of a Colosseum. And like I mentioned, right, you, you don't have to take away Colosseum. Uh, you can leave Colosseum the way it is, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, etc. And what you can do is you can make this a certain game mode that comes every, I don't know, two or three weeks. Kind of like Guild Showdown, right? And if you make it a guild event, let's say that you make it into a guild event. Then you can have your guild strategize of what team works for them, depending on the heroes that they have. And that makes a whole different dialogue, a whole different thing that your guild can start focusing on in order to start ranking up and be one of the better quote-unquote Colosseum guilds. So, there's a lot of potential there. And I just need IgG to please do something about Colosseum because while I do enjoy it, I also do think that it's it's about that time that we make some changes. Maybe change it up a, a little bit. Maybe just the way it looks, you know, because it just... Colosseum looked like this when it first came out back in like 20, what, 16, 17? And it's it's still the same. Like, can we, can we get a little, little something, something different? You know, a little something different would be great. So let me know what you guys think. What would you name this this game mode, right? So if, it, if you're leaving Colosseum the way it is now, what would you name this game mode where you have to make three teams... On defense and when you're attacking you also got to make three teams but you get to choose what team faces what as far as you being the attacker and then not only that the amount of teams that will come out as being like some of the best is gonna be great because you're gonna start seeing heroes that you never see normally you know so we'll love to see what you guys think about this and hopefully IGG look IGG if you if you want to take my idea take it it's okay I don't mind. Just take it, run with it, make something with it. It doesn't even have to be 100% what I just said, right? Just just do something with it. I think it, IGG would benefit because not only would it be a fun game mode, it would probably give people an incentive to start taking up some of the heroes that they've ignored. Think about it, IGG. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you think this would be a great idea and a great addition to a Colosseum or just a separate game mode altogether? I would love to see what you guys think about that. And maybe we can come up with other suggestions for other things that I feel are a little bit dated now that needs to be updated. Um, yeah, appreciate you guys for coming through. And until later, bye.